What's up, everybody? Welcome to New Orleans, Louisiana. In today's video, we're going into Holly Grove. Which is Lil Wayne's hood in New Orleans, Louisiana. We're just on the outskirts. Just gonna go ahead and say this looks like it's been gentrified a whole lot. Yeah, there's a Costco <laughs> yeah. and I'm seeing like nice cars. I'm seeing like white people walking dogs yeah. and stuff. I'm like, this is this Fred? No wonder his audience is a bunch of white kids. <laughs> okay. Let's um I don't know if I should keep recording. Let's just start recording you can hear. This has been a very difficult city to record and we have had yeah. a moments um why are they carrying like i'm sorry am i missing something here? I, I i i don't really understand this um i thought this was like a hood did, did, there's like people I, white people walking their kids around for yeah this or something. i don't i thought this it does look kind of does it i don't know this looks Nice. Some parts of it look nice. We'll, we'll see what it's really like. I mean, I thought it was like straight up the hood, but then again, okay. This let's take this little out of Is this one way? No. no. Yeah, all types of restaurants inside. Okay. Well, that was like the best Mexican food I've ever had. That was good. Period. Man. Something about food in New Orleans, bro. It was so good, I almost got the dessert. So, let me see where we are now. So, Holly Grove starts a little bit up ahead. We'll see exactly what it looks like. Because that main street looks very gentrified. Yeah. Maybe it's like Miami where, like, it's going to have to change. This city was, last time we came to New Orleans, this was like zombie land. I mean, like, yeah. there was like hundreds of homeless people trying to attack your vehicle, you know? Like, the last time that we were in New Orleans, it was absolutely terrifying. But, time's changed, man. Like, I don't know. When you got off that interstate mm -hmm. in New Orleans and you were like, what? But that mean you had Katrina, you had more homeless people. It was way scarier back then than it is yeah. now. I'll just say that. It was definitely scarier back then. Is this car going wrong? Is, is it a one way? No, there's just not enough space. There's also another neighborhood I'd like to see at night. It's called Pigeon Town. You know how Berman does that? Coo, coo, where he like flops his hands like a bird runner? There's actually a neighborhood called Bur uh, either Pigeon Town or something like that. Somewhere else. I think we're in it now. New Orleans has changed a lot. It's like Miami where it's gentrifying and whatever. There's people working on the road or something. Or they just walk around in that. I don't know. So We're in it now. This whole car seat. We are in Holly Grove. We're in it. And there's more people walking around with kids. I don't get it. It can't be that terrifying if you're walking around with kids. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But this is the the Holly Grove. This is it. Mm -hmm. I don't think that how much the road sank. Mm -hmm. Or like the Hole is like popping out at you. Uptown. Maybe we should go to Uptown and see if that's any better. <laughs> Scrap model. Bro. I'm like half expecting to see a millennial with a poodle. No, there's still some rough yeah. seats out here. Don't get it wrong. It's no. still rough. No, this is rough right here. Mm -hmm. This is tough. 
police thing up there? Yeah. It's still rough out here. Mm -hmm. Well, look at Miami. Some parts of Miami, like Liberty City, they knocked on all the projects. Now they're building those new apartment looking things. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. There's another part of Hollywood, but I just don't know how you can get to it. Mm. The highway kind of splits the neighborhood. Yeah. Um, remember, it don't matter what it looked like. If it's a dangerous place, it can be dangerous and not look dangerous. Yeah. Not look, you know, it might not look bad. Mm -hmm. But if it's dangerous, it's dangerous. Yep. The good thing is, you better have a Hummer if you're coming at us with this pickup truck. Mm -hmm. I could push a Hummer out of the way with this thing. Does it look like these streets go underneath the, like the highway? Or does it look like it's divided? No, there's a train track. None of these roads go that way. Okay, let's get up out of here. I don't like these cars that are coming at us. Yeah. Baton Rouge looks scary at night. Yeah. Yeah. And Baton Rouge. Actually, remember when we went to Baton Rouge and it didn't look as bad as we thought it would? Yeah. So. Things change over time. These roads are in absolutely horrid condition. And I don't think fixing them is going to make a difference because it's probably like where... It's probably like where, um... You know, it's sinking or whatever. So, like, it doesn't matter yeah. what they do. It looks sketchy. They, they're, there's definitely some sketchy spots up in here. Want a GPS uh, Baton Rouge? Yes. Uh, I want to see Uptown, too, but... Yeah, I'll let you quick, but I'm tired. Are you tired? How tired are you? Are you pretty tired? Um, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Um, it's been a long day though, either way. Oh, no. Yeah. Up to... I am tired, but if you want to keep going. GPS, keep uh, going. our destination. Okay. I don't know, it's still sketchy up in here. Places in here more than others. Yeah. Some of these in there were a little shiny. Dude, like these roads are in bad shape. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, no matter what they do, they just, like, sink and whatever. It's like, I don't even think. Head southeast on Fig Street toward Hamilton Street, then turn right <coughs> onto Hamilton Street. Turn right onto Hamilton Street. These roads are in really bad shape. Yeah. There's people walking around with groceries and stuff. It can't be that horrendous. In 600 feet. It's like really bad. You're going to go groceries at night. Mm -hmm. It's like not the Roads are in bad shape now. Not yet nine. Maybe it gets worse later. It's already dark. Yeah. It is dark. It's dark. Okay. I'm not sure what's supposed to happen here. There's like water hoses and the roads are definitely Turn rough. Right. But I don't think it's like lack of maintenance. I just think... It's just, it's just the road sink. Like the sink yeah. sinks, yeah. That's right. Right. On Earnhardt. This is Earnhardt. Is that across the street? Out of Holly Grove? Um, I see some people hanging out over there. Up to, that's, uh, that's kind of, turn yeah. Right? Yeah, turn right. Uptown isn't too far from here. Let's call it a day. Okay. If the videos do good, we can come back on the way back from here so I can drop by again. I had a blast, man. This city's... Yeah. Other than how expensive it is to do anything here. Yeah. That's like the real downside of cities, the cost. You could spend a thousand dollars in a day. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. If you can pay hotel, valet parking tips, homeless beggars getting your face and you just want to leave. Between one thing and the other... Between like homeless people, beggars, tipping. I don't know, I feel like you could easily spend a thousand dollars here. Hotel was like four hundred. Even the crap even the bad hotels were like three hundred tonight. And that's not even as high as they go, they go higher than that. You gotta pay to park. Dinner was tacos were a hundred dollars. Can we spent a hundred dollars getting tacos? <laughs> it sounds crazy, but that's for real, that's New Orleans, yeah. man. It's one yeah. expensive city, bro. That's that's one thing about New Orleans. It's expensive. So, all right, guys, there it is. I hope you guys liked the video. How far are we from our hotel? An hour. All right, time to drive, y'all. Let you guys go. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe.